As you can probably tell from our picture, today um, it was a little <laughs> chilly um, to be sitting out and painting. So um, I moved inside and I just started focusing on the background. Um, I put some feedback out for my students, um, gave them the opportunity to create, uh, critique my work a little. And a lot of the suggestions were just focus more on the background, which I hadn't done at all. So today I worked on the ground, or I started with the ground and the sky. And then I kind of went back and, and reworked that roof. It's kind of been a problem this whole time. <laughs> Just kind of cleaning up some edges, putting in a little more detail work. Um, if you notice that my sky is kind of a mixture um, of blues and whites, maybe even a little green left, maybe some dirty green off my brush. And I'm just adding a lot more white in there to kind of lighten that up, get rid of that stormy look. And I have my reference picture on my computer there. And then as I work the grass, I kind of incorporate some different colors of green, mixing in a little brown in the shadowed areas, a little white in the highlighted. Um, and then I went back on my barn and laid some white in, a really, really thin coat, and then went back over with some darker red to kind of give my boards a little more of a weathered look. And then to end this painting, um, I couldn't decide what I wanted to put, so instead of a windmill, um, I used that reference photo from the day I painted underneath the apple tree, and I just brought down one of those branches, and here in a minute you're going to see that um, I put some of those blossoms on there. And for the blossoms, I used a mixture of white, green, and yellow. Um, even some of the green I darkened up just a little bit with some blue, just to give it some different value in there. As I continued working on that tree, um, I wanted to incorporate a little more um, branches in there. So instead of using a paintbrush, I just took a piece of cardboard um, and then dipped it in my brown paint and kind of made some streaks, some lines um, to give it some more branch branches underneath those uh, blossoms. And then continued to add more blooms. And then kind of focused in um, a few little shadowed areas um, in on my grass. To, to finalize this, I decided that um, that left corner that I'm working on right there, it needed a little something extra, so I went ahead and put a little fence in. Um, there is actually a fence on that property line, you just can't see it very well, um, so I exaggerated it a little bit. And for this, I used a dark uh, brown. I mixed a little black with it. So there is my final painting. Um, I hope you guys will share your completed barn paintings. And um, thank you for joining.